these are seven reasons why your dropshipping store is maybe not as good as it could be. You guys, this is just going to be a very quick little video where I'm going about seven steps or seven things you may be doing wrong with your store and you can improve on to increase your sales and take your dropshipping store to the next level. So I see a lot of people and I talked about that on my Instagram before that don't have a customized domain. So they're still using this uh, yourstore.myshopify.com. This is just horrible. Don't do that. Get a customized domain. It's like 10 bucks a year. You can buy it from Shopify directly for 14 bucks or you go to GoDaddy or something and buy it for $10 a year. This is literally nothing. And this will boost your credibility by a ton. And I don't know where people think it would you, be honest. Would you go to a store online which has like crappy long ass domain like cat necklaces dropshipping store dot my Shopify dot com. Would you buy from there? Be honest. So the next point is you're not using scarcity or urgency on your offers. I'll go on the point of offers later on in the video, but in this step, you have to use something like a countdown. It is increasing your conversion rate by a ton. If you have a countdown app like Horrify, this is like the little thing under your add to cart button, which is like counting down and giving the, the customer something like, oh, go, go quick before the offer ends. Some people are using it, but if you go there, they have like 24 or 23 hours and 59 minutes and 58 seconds left. That's just the default settings and you have to put this down to a couple minutes. I always use like two or three minutes and a couple seconds, like two minutes and 14 seconds left because then the customer sees it and it's like, oh my God, I'm so late and it's only two minutes left. But if they have like 23 hours, which is literally nearly a day, they say, oh, maybe I'll come back later or something. You have to give them a hook and the reason why they should buy it right now and don't leave your page and follow the steps and buy the thing you want to sell them instantly and not later on. Number three. Number three is also a very important thing. I have a lot of people asking me in the DMs if I can take a look on their shops and I'm always doing that because I like to help people. But there are so many people out there that are still doing a general store. So you go on there and they, they I had one guy, he was literally saying lingerie for women, having uh, dog necklaces and kitchen uh, kitchenware, like, like knives and this Tupperware boxes, something like, it couldn't be in more different ways. So you have to have a clear theme and a clear niche. It's especially important because you may you may be able to do to get a couple sales, but if you want to build a customer relationship, you have people who want lingerie from you, and how do you want to sell them Tupperware boxes and maybe dog necklaces? There, this is just there's no similarity if you know what I mean. And on the long term, you will not be able to compete with Amazon or eBay or Craigslist or Walmart or Best Buy. All these huge online stores there are out there and just focus on your little niche and be in this little tiny bubble I talked about earlier in the last video I think. Yes yeah, so and just focus on one customer category. This will help you. Focus on one niche and it's easier to market that. Number four, imagine you're in the city and you're going into a store and the store looks horrible. There it's just it's dirty on the floor and the products are dusty and they're all over the place and there there's no theme in it and it's just uncategorized and you, you you look at it and it looks like a pile of garbage when you're looking for product pictures just cut them out with photoshop go on fiverr look for someone who has photoshop if you don't have it download it for free i don't know there are many ways to do it and just remove the background of the product and have a white simple product picture this will look so incredible good when you're on a category page and everything is just lined up and everything is nice and clean. So many people just copy anything. They, they go like, oh, dog necklace on YouTube or on Google and copy the first image and there's no color theme and everything is just odd and off. Uh, this is just not looking good. The, the, the humans are very predictable and every human is, this is just in our nature. We're looking for clean stuff we are looking for similarities we want that is everything we want that everything is nice and clean 
and there's a reason why people uh, prefer to be in a clean room than in a dirty uncategorized room you know what I mean number five many people take over put and a product from Aliexpress into the store and just leave it as it is don't do it the descriptions from Aliexpress are horrible horrible maybe you can copy the little uh, material thing like oh okay this product is I don't know 90% stainless steel and 14% gold or I don't know you can copy that but all the other stuff is just garbage you just type it in in Chinese and then they translate it to English and it's ah awful just write your own product description for every single product individually and make it something emotional you know people are buying out of from emotion so if you are selling mom t-shirts for example I don't know some t-shirt with like proud mom or something this is always going good this it's something emotional so you put like are you a proud mom question mark uh, yeah with this t-shirt you can show everyone that you're a, pr a proud mom and have great kids or I don't know some garbage like that but this is way better than every single sentence you will find in an Aliexpress product description. Make everything nice, clean, and personal. Number six. This is key. I should have said that as number one. You have to have a strategy. Arnold Schwarzenegger said once that you have to, you can be the the best pilot in the world, but if you if you don't know uh, where you have to go, you will just fly around in circles. So you have to have a strategy. Like zero sales right now. I want to be at ten thousand dollars or in two months or I don't know set yourself a goal and then you're like okay do this 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 and this and this to execute and to achieve this goal and then you work on a plan the basic strategy is start with Instagram influencers collect data for the Facebook pixel and then scale your store to the next level with Facebook ads this is just the general strategy most of dropshippers are using you should have a plan you should do okay today I'm, I'm gonna finish the store tomorrow I will make all the ads uh, the day after that I will post uh, three shout outs on three different pages and you just have to have a clear strategy and a clear way to go and don't do oh, today I feel like I I want to make a shout out and, and tomorrow I will add some product description no you have to have a step-by-step -step strategy and have everything nice and lined up and the last thing I want to talk about you're doing drop shipping so you are starting right now this is why i'm assuming you're watching the video or you're just in the beginning phase so you didn't brand your store yet so people don't know your store people maybe go on amazon and then they will buy a kindle and they plan that but drop shipping stores you will land on them because someone saw an ad on facebook or instagram so they they were just browsing and wanting to consume content on there but then they saw the ad and then they got randomly on your store and now you have to give them a reason to stay on that store if you just have your products right there and everything nothing is on sale no special offer they're like oh no this is too expensive buy and you lost a potential customer so you want to have a special offer for them let it be 20 percent off 50 percent off or something like this so this is clearly going in hand with the horrify thing so they're landing on your product page and then you're like, okay, uh, we are 50% off only for the next two minutes. Buy now, go, 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 go. There's so much comp competition out there on social media, on Facebook, on Instagram, influencer pages, on Facebook ads in general. You have to peek out somehow. So you have to create a special offer. You can go around on other dropshipping stores or on big companies and look what they're doing to create something special and unique for their customers. Okay guys, this was the video for today. If you got any value, please drop a like and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram. And the most important thing, if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. I will answer everything. I see you guys tomorrow and bye.